in which all diocese has been participating and so many gathered here tonight who have been there each night of the novena. We come in faith. We come as God's family and we come in that joy that we will celebrate tomorrow night at the birth of our Savior at Christmas. And we come also in thanksgiving for all the blessings that God gives to us each day and for the great blessing of being together tonight to celebrate this Mass. We always prepare ourselves to celebrate these most sacred mysteries of our faith by pausing for a moment to call to mind our sins. With trusting in God's great love and mercy, we now ask for this time tomorrow night, even tomorrow afternoon, um, we'll begin together with the whole church the celebration of the birth of Jesus at Christmas. And what a blessing for all of us to be here together today. And how grateful we are to the leaders of our Das and Filipino community with their priests and uh, all of the leaders, lay leaders and religious deacons, um, and those in the parishes, and each person here, and all, all those who have participated in this Ibangabi Novena during these past nine days. You are a blessing to the church and our diocese and our participation, whether you're born in the Philippines or New Jersey or Queens like me or uh, Long Island like Father David or Queens as well um, and uh, Monsignor Flanagan in Ireland. Um, but in Zimbabwe, we're all Filipinos, right? Um, yeah. And uh, we give thanks for the gift of our beautiful Catholic faith as I shared on Monday night when I celebrated St. Anthony's in Passaic, that gift of our one holy Catholic faith that unites us no matter where we're born, what language we speak, um, what food we like most, um, or the different customs and traditions that we have, our faith unites us as God's family. And as we listen to God's word tonight, on this 23rd day of December, looking forward to what we'll celebrate tomorrow night and coming to the conclusion of this Zimbabwe Novena, three simple words with which we're very familiar, we use them all the time, but let us take a moment to reflect on God's most beautiful and most wonderful gifts, the gift of faith, the gift of family, and the gift of joy. The church in her wisdom and the beauty of the 2,000 years of Christianity, 500 celebrated right this year on the uh, gospel coming to the Philippines and going forth from the Philippines as it continues to do um, in that beauty, that beauty of evangelization, the sharing of the gift of faith. The church gives us these special readings that you've been reflecting upon over these nine days together with the whole church when we come to December 17th we uh, each year on, on those days leading up to Christmas we see we read the same first reading psalm and gospel and so that we heard in recent days of the visitation and um, the, the Annunciation and the visitation and Mary's yesterday Mary's Magnificat my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord today we reflect on that great moment of joy when God's plan through the gift of faith is being fulfilled through human beings, through the gift of family. And as we reflected twice in these days, both on Sunday and I believe it was the day before yesterday, uh, the visitation, that as we know, God chose Mary, our Blessed Mother, and St. Joseph. God would send his son to a family. And today, we recall how not only did Mary enter Elizabeth's house and the baby in her womb, but that leapt with joy at the sound of Mary's greeting. And when Elizabeth said to Mary, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Mary would say those words of joy. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. But the ending of, the, of that gospel passage, and Mary remained with Elizabeth. 
over those three months that led to that great joy that every family experiences when a child is born. Tomorrow night we'll reflect on that great news from the angels, that glad tidings of great joy for all people, that a child is born for you, a son is given you. But in the plan of God, again through the gift of our faith, we know that God chose John to be the one who would prepare the way of the Lord. John who helps us with our Blessed Mother through this journey of Advent to come to the celebration of Christmas. And tonight we hear, after Elizabeth gave birth, being the faithful Jewish family that they were, trusting that God keeps his promises from one generation to the next, through the gift of family and faith, the Jewish people were waiting for the coming of the Messiah and what it must have been like for those families, Zachariah, Elizabeth, Mary, and Joseph, to realize that God's plan was coming to fulfillment through them. And so as those faithful Jewish, that faithful Jewish family couple, Zachariah and Elizabeth, who had waited so long for a child, but never lost hope. They would present their child and give the name, and as we heard, as we know, they thought, well, he's going to be named Zachariah after his father. And Elizabeth, no. He'll be called John. And they looked to Zachariah, who hadn't spoken for all those months, and he writes those words, his name shall be John, and his mouth is open. Faith, family, and joy. We are here because we have received the gift of faith through our families. As I shared again on, on Tuesday, on Monday night, that experience here in our country blessed by immigrants from all over the world. And so many who come to us from other lands and who come to us with a great gift that they share with their new country. How many parents and grandparents in the Philippines and in heaven are so happy that you are here tonight because the gift of faith that you received through your family, you're now passing on to your children and grandchildren as part of the Church of Patterson, as God's plan has left and led you to our diocese. And again, you bless our diocese each year with this novena, with the Simbagavi. As I learned myself growing up in my own family and discerning the call to priesthood, realizing the impact that my parents had on my life and what they gave to my brother and sister and I, raising us in a family of faith. It's been said, and we need to say it more often. We used to say it more often. I came to realize that in my own life, I came to realize that when I served for six years as a vocation director, Vocations come from families. And I just want to take this opportunity again to thank our Filipino community and Filipino families of faith for blessing us with vocations here in Patterson. You know, I think Deacons Emerson and Vic will be ordained, God willing, in this coming May. Father Nico serving here at St. Philip's, along with his classmate, Father Jake, who I was two of my first five ordinations in 2020, the late ordinations in August, in the year of COVID, and we're still in COVID. Um, but with Father Kerwin, Father June, who I was ordained, I was blessed to know, yes? Father June as well, yes. All three, right? Yes. Father June, what year? What year? Yes. The three together. Yes. Three. Three and twenty, sorry. Uh, I was getting an extra year. Uh, and Father Kerwin, 2019. Uh, Father Joey, who was ordained last year, and the, we'll call him the experienced senior leader, Father Vidal, who was ordained a few years ago. Uh, but let's say thank you to our Filipino community family. Uh, and we're blessed as the Church of Patterson to be a family of faith. And we're blessed by this Simbagabi Novena each year. 
We still face challenges. We're still in struggling with this pandemic. Some families may not be able to get together tomorrow night or, or, or on Saturday for Christmas Day. But we're together in faith and prayer. Again, that immigrant experience of having family halfway across the world, 12 hours difference, I learned that, I know. Uh, uh, but we can be united at the altar, separated by the farthest distances or even with our loved ones who are in, in heaven for Christmas. We're united at the altar, celebrating the Eucharist, the gift of our faith, the gift that Jesus gives us of himself. He who was conceived in the womb of Mary and was born in the stable of Bethlehem, who gives us the cause for hope and joy. The, some say that the difference between happiness and joy is that happiness comes and goes. We're not always happy and we certainly have struggles and the mystery of the cross is always there. But the gift of God, the fruit of the Holy Spirit that is joy, the peace and joy that we celebrate, that we will celebrate tomorrow night and on Christmas morning. That's a gift of God that comes to us through the gift of our faith and comes to us through the gift of family. Today we come to the conclusion of this novena. We celebrate the Mass as a family of faith. We ask and pray for ourselves, our loved ones, for our diocese, for our world, that we would know tomorrow night and Saturday morning the joy of Christmas, the joy of Bethlehem, the joy of Mary and Joseph to see their newborn son, the joy of the shepherds and the kings who would come and visit the newborn king. Let us pray, my sisters and brothers, giving thanks for this novena and pray that the prayers offered and intentions offered during this novena will be answered in thanksgiving tonight for faith, for family, and for the joy of Christmas.